I'll show you how to install Egital application on Linux machine. Okay. So we have one server running on that is our Amazon Linux. Okay. And let's log into the server first. So to log in, just just a minute, let me cancel this. And I'll log in as I issue to hyphen user. Yeah, this is your game update we can do. Okay. We can meanwhile we can upload the EG Travel Linux file. So EG Travel Linux file you can download it from From portals, you click on this link, you can able to download. Okay. And this uh, Linux file you can download. Sorry. Okay. Now, so it is getting uploaded now. Meanwhile, we'll install Java. So only Java 8 is Java 11 it is supporting. So let's install Java Open JDK on Amazon Linux. Okay. So let's paste it. JDK is getting installed now. Now you do ls file is there. You try Java hyphen version. You can see that we have open JTK 11. Now ls we have this file. Just wait for a few minutes. Once file will get uploaded, we can deploy. So I should change the uh, file permission. No. I should just use that jar file. That's it. Triple seven. Then we can select. Okay, so file got uploaded. Let's run it. Now ls. Okay, now Java hyphen jar and file. Okay, then check it. What is the command to run it? We need to Java hyphen jar and file. Okay, so let's run it. Yes, it is getting installed now. Now, if you do ls, so cd eg travel. Okay, ls. CD web okay. not coming. We can take this. No, I just take this. Unless 
dot slash web dot sh Now each travel is up now. You can see. Yeah. Now you should uh, generate a widget. You can increase how many widget you want. You click on production, then click on the standard. Okay. All the applications will up now. Once all are get tick symbol. The configuration is low, so it will take time. See, now you should try this same URL. Control C, Control V with 8080. Digital application is up now. Do whatever you want. Okay, now install Dynatus agent on the server and do all the service gets visible. You can create applications and a lot of things. You can do that. Okay, and uh, by the way, this will run as a background. Okay, so when you have going this path, you should enter something like this. Uh, and dot slash web launcher dot sh and ambition symbol. Okay, once you will run this ambition, it will run as a background. Yeah. So if I'll close the server also, it will be running. So no need to do anything. Now it will be running as a background. It will be running as a background, no need to do anything. You can uh, do one thing when you are stopping and starting the servers, right? Uh, you can configure elastic IP so that IP will become a static, not get changed. So you can that you can do that. So that you can do it from here. You can see that elastic IPs allocate elastic IP. Lock it and then I lock it elastic IP. Wait, wait, wait. Go to this associate. You need to choose the instance. Okay, so this will be elastic IP. So once you entered this. Uh, this will be your uh, elastic IP, so it will never get changed. Okay, so that you can do it. So I'm not going to do that. Once you have done, uh, in that IP will not get changed. So that's it for this lecture. Okay. Thank you. Now you can see the applications are running now. Your portal is up. You can do the transactions. You can create a users. We have assigned users. Now you can search some item you want to go perish. Search it, perish, filtered, book a ticket, next. 
So if you click on the tick symbol, that all the details will get filled. Then so user is get created. So like this, you can generate a traffic and uh, install the agent on the server, Dynetis agent on the server, and you can see a lot of data on your Dynetis portal, okay? So that's it for this lecture, guys. Thank you.